Face off against the North Dakota State Bison. This should be a whale of a game. Hi there, everyone. We're here at the Bison Sports Arena. Alongside Bill Raftery, this is Vern Lundquist. Tracy Wilson is with us, too. Give us your take, Bill. I'll really be watching the matchup at the four spot. Leslie can hold his own with anyone at the power forward position. He's got impressive ball handling ability for a big fella. He's just as comfortable facing up as posting up. Oliver is also a capable power forward. He's got impressive ball handling ability for a big fella. He's just as comfortable facing up as posting up. Both looking to lead their teams to a win. We'll see who succeeds. North Dakota State controls the opening tip and we'll get this one started. The game has just begun and they're already in the minimum. Passes it down low. Worthington backs in. Sterling shoots it. Scores the opening field goal. They're now out in front by two. Dumps it inside. Shoots from 13 feet. It was hit by Chalmers. He's got two. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson, for an... It's it. Ah, jeez. All right. An update. What do you have for us, Tracy? Just before the game, I talked with the head coach. He told me that they want to use their quickness to their advantage. He said they couldn't think of another squad that could match their team's speed, and he wants to make sure that shows tonight by getting out on the break and showing That's how fast first this first game can be foul. played. Guys, thanks, Tracy. Foul. Shooting two. Can't get the first. Good on number two. Monsura inbounds the ball. By yourself, by yourself. Oliver. Poked away, and it's picked up by North Dakota State. Just as quickly as he made the pump fake, the ball was gone. That's a little pilfery, Burn. That last 20-footer was offline by Harper. You have to hit that. Hard to imagine he could get a cleaner look. Chalmers tosses Chalmers. it up. Nice speed by Coppenrath. Oh, now They're it's... up four to three. Under four minutes left in the half. Harper feeds it to the right wing. Bounces it to the right from the baseline. Perfect shot by Harper. They now lead by one. Chalmers takes it up, lays it right in. They lead by one. Harper inbounds the ball. ball, ball. Sterling has the ball. Owen. Dishes it down low. Leslie hits it. The away team Leslie. takes its first time out of the game. Time out on the floor. Getting set to inbound the ball. The away team head coach may have to deal with some chemistry issues after those good. substitutions because that gives them a pretty inexperienced lineup out there. Oh, Leads him with the pass. Okay, Goes up. Never mind. Oh, oh, you by Owen. Credit the D there. 
They reacted quickly enough to throw him off. Rodeo gets the reach in ball, and that's, that's his first foul. Boy, to make his first stand off the bench. Foul. It takes quick hands to get the, the theft, and he was too slow that time. Watch the spread. Get your man, get your man. Leslie inbounds the ball. Passes outright. Backs him down. Grabbed by Oliver. They're still up by one. Nice pass. Cup and wrap. By yourself, by yourself. Has it inside. 214 left in the first half. Worthington goes up, fouled hard, and he'll take a trip to the line. He makes the first institution. Kelly makes his first appearance. He gets them both. Monsuris inbounds the ball. Kelly hands it off with the shot. The 12-footer was off the mark by Verdeo. Two minutes remain. Still a double-digit game. Minutes. Verdeo is whistled for reaching in, and that will be his second foul of the game. Substitution. Murphy is checking into the game. See, I don't agree with that call at all. Goes to the crossover. Sterling dumps it off. Watch the wing, watch the wing. Owen skips it to the middle. Shooting two. first misses again and can't make the defense pay for the foul high post kicks it out to the wing Oliver hands it off Mansura takes it up. Worthington <laughs> gets the board inside. 120 left in the first half. Ward gets it on the inside. Bold pass with the inside leaner on the money. They got on this roll a while ago and just haven't looked back. They're set up in minimum. Murphy has it on the elbow. Kelly passes it back down low. Murphy comes up empty from nine feet. Oh, the big fella with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. It's in. Foul. That's his first personal foul. Penalty situation. Shooting two. Knocks down the first one. The Bison are making substitutions. And he'll come away one of two. Monsuras dumps it off. Out left. Bounces it to the right. Mansura puts it up. Get it out of there, big fella. You have to protect the lane, and that time, they tried to sneak one through on him. The big guy has spoken. 
Worthington backs him down. Gets it to fall after the tricky up and under move. He's got four. The away team is struggling on defense, and Tracy has a quick report from their bench. The head coach is very upset, Vern, and told all of his players with an earshot that a run like this is going to lead to a lot of money for them at their next practice. All right, Tracy. He must have thought someone was rotating over to block that. You can't lose concentration even for a second. We'll head into the break with the score, 14 to See, and that's the reason why Monsares is on the bench. What do you think of the first half, Bill? If you don't see some improvement soon, this could be even further out of reach. They need to make some adjustments. Now we'll bring you our player of the half. Who's your pick, Bill? Worthington has been an intimidator out there. He has impressed me not only with his ability to create offense for himself, but for his ability to change the opponent's offensive game plan. He's been a true asset at both ends of the court. Solid performance from our player of the half. All right. Uh, we should press this. Yeah, but we're not scoring periods. We can too low on the shots, but on the shots, the, the ones that are. We're ready to begin the second half. Murphy inbounds it to start the second half. Oliver hands it off. Takes it up, packed on the way up, and he'll get two shots at the line. Can't sink the first. on number two. Tracy Wolfson has more on what went on at halftime. Tracy? Well, at halftime, I talked with the head coach. He told me he wasn't worried about the score and thought his team was going to do a lot of positive things. He went on to say that he wasn't going to mix up his rotation, even though he knows he has talent on the end of his bench. He felt that the players he used in the first half give him the best chance of winning this game, and he won't stray from that game plan. Back to you. Thank you, Tracy. A superior effort to fight through the foul and put it down. Strong move, Vern. He can't come oh, away with a three-point play. <gasps> Leslie didn't get that rebound by accident. He knew right where to be. But they're still out in front by nine. Kelly takes the shot, Don hits Kelly. the jumper. But they're still behind by seven. Harper inbounds the ball. Leads him in. Harper uses the glass and it goes in. He's shooting 66% for the game. Monsura. Defensive foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting two. And he makes the first. Substitution. The visitors are going to make some substitutions. Thank <laughs> you. 
gets the second to fall as well. Coppenrath is coming onto the floor. Harper inbounds the ball. Owens uses the crossover, gets it down low. Last and basket no. on the mark by Worthington. Worthing. That was a wonderful feed to set up the bucket. We've seen a lot of that out of him tonight. Shooting two. Knocks down the first one. Gets the second to fall as well. Hoppenrath is tagged with the reach, and that will get him his fourth foul of the game. We could see him tighten up his play, Bill. Foul trouble will make a player extra cautious. But you don't want to be so careful that you're not effective out there. It's a tricky balance. Oh, nobody, nobody is getting good. Hoppenrath gets his fifth foul of the game. And that will force him to leave with... The visiting team adds a the defender into the mix. They really want to get tough on the defensive end. Knocks down the first one. Daniel Daniel to make his first stint off the bench. He gets them both. Daniel will head to the bench. Murphy inbounds the ball. Just over three minutes left in the second half. Goes up. The Brandon finger roll Monsures. was laid in by Monsures. They've got it within seven. with the reach foul. and that's his first that's foul. His first oh, you foul. can't come across the body like that. Foul. That is a textbook reach. Substitution on the court. <laughs> Owens, lead pass down low. Clifford Sterling. The away team is really struggling. Monsuris dumps it off. Beats it to the right side. Murphy throws yes, it up. Murphy. Good from 12 feet. He's one for two for the game. his first that's foul his of the game. First, first, first Kelly foul. will check into the game. Team too much contact foul. there. I like the aggressive defense, but he court. reached in a little too hard. <laughs> Leslie inbounds the ball. Dishes it to the right block. Collected inside by Harper. 2.06 left in the game. Takes it up. Got Defense the bucket foul. and the That's foul. First personal Go foul. to the line for a chance at a three-point play. He's either got to foul hard or don't foul at all. You can't just give up easy three-point plays. Tacks on the free throw for the three-point play. North Dakota floor. State calls time. They're winning okay, by so can we two of three left today? in the game. And we use hustles. <laughs> and we use guns.
Chris, it's not even a week. The visitor does to try to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Worthington inbounds the ball. Two minutes remaining. Worthington catches it right wing. Dishes corner. Wide Sterling open. Takes the shot. No luck on the three point attempt. They've still got a four point lead. Leads him with the pass. The nine footer. Ah. Yanked down inside by Chalmers. He, he needs to make That's sure he gets a piece second. of the ball, too. He's, He's going to foul him that late on an attempt. Chalmers goes up. What nerves to hit that free throw. Now they've got to come up big at the defensive end, Vern. The Bison the will take a timeout. They're in front by one. 134 left in the game. Well, let's get back to the action. Leslie inbounds the ball. Stolen by Daniel. I'd love to see that. He was lurking around then the pounce. That's his Such second. a deep foul. A superior effort to fight through the foul and put it down. Strong move, Vern. I'm sure he wishes he could have had that one back. This lead is far from comfortable at this point. The Bison on all time. They're losing by three. 122 left in the game. Visitors are making a few lineup changes. <laughs> Leslie inbounds the ball. The steal by the away team. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Put an end to the run. One minute left in the game. Credit the D there. They reacted quickly enough to throw him off. I'm out on the floor. North Dakota State calls time. They're behind by seven. 56 seconds left in the game. Well, it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. Pokes free, and it's scooped up by yes, Murphy. Murphy. Gently drops it in. Great job to hang on to the lead. They're doing it all out there. Worthington inbounds the ball. Puts it up. No good from three-point land. The visitors look like they have this one wrapped up. With nobody around, he Defense still foul. couldn't convert. Third third Sometimes he can be too wide open. Round. Shooting one and one. Sinks the first one, and that will push the lead to double digits. He gets them both. I think this game is out of reach, Fern. There's just not enough time left for a comeback. Sterling shoots. Can't put an end to the run. 34 seconds left in the game. 
It would take a miracle to avoid a loss at this point. You simply can't give away points down the stretch and hope to make them back up. Shoots it. Bounced off the front rim by Harper. Monsuris brings it up the floor. Mansura lets it go, misses it. And that's all for this one. The visitors knock off North Dakota State, 35 to 24. And now it's time to show you our player of the game. Now let's go back to Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. Thanks, Vern. Welcome, everyone, to 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. In a pressure-filled game like this one, it all comes down to who can hit the big shots. Didn't falter when the pressure of the second half intensified. Instead, they rose to the occasion, put the game away with tremendous shots like the one you see here, the definition of clutch shooting. Thank you, Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wolfson and Bill Raftery. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of College Hoops on 2K Sports.